sea level is rising by about three millimeters per year. We can measure that and we can even measure an acceleration. I'm Remco Schro and I'm the mission scientist for the Sentinel 3A and Sentinel 3B altimeter missions. Sentinel 3B will continue the work of Sentinel 3A, not only continue, complement the work of Sentinel 3A by interleaving its tracks with the other satellites. Together they will form a more dense pattern of measurements of wind speed, wave height and sea level. Wave height itself gives us other information. Since the sea level creates a slope whenever there is a current, we can actually measure this. We are measuring the slope and can infer the currents. Of course, if you are faring on the oceans, you don't want to generally want run against the current. So you need to know where the currents are. Big currents are, for example, the Gulf Stream. But all these big currents are also shedding eddies, circular bodies of warm water or cold water. To avoid running into the wrong way, we need to assimilate our altimeter data into models and provide them to the users. Sea level globally is rising. This we measure too with Sentinel 3A and will continue to measure with Sentinel 3B. Together we have about 25 years of observations of sea level. Averaged together, sea level is rising by about 3 millimeters per year. And in fact, we see sea level accelerating. Of course, this has great impact for anybody living near the coast, for planners, for warning, to decide whether you need to raise your dike or your barrier against the ocean. Sea surface height is also important in the Arctic areas where we see ice cover. Altimeters can actually not only detect the ice cover, the extent of the ice, but also determine its thickness. Together, they of course give us the volume of the ice. And we see the volume shrinking every year. Every winter, there seems to be less ice. This is a clear signal of climate change, just as sea level rise is a detection of a changing climate.